there's been an update. There is an endless cat and mouse battle raging in Counter-Strike. On one side we have people griefing and ruining matches in various ways, and on the other side is Valve, trying to stop them with stuff like Trust Factor and VAC bans. Their latest move has been to post a list of CSGO fair play guidelines. A link to this page will pop up on this screen, visible for a split second before a match loads. On the surface these guidelines appear pretty toothless, just a load of stuff that any player at this point knows already, like not to cheat or to grief. Although saying that, I guess having an auto fire button or a jump throw bind breaks the never to use automation for any reason rule. I'm not sure I like the wording of this here because it's vague enough that it could be used against people for all kinds of petty reasons. I would hope it's been added here to target serious stuff, like the use of automated bots to farm the game for you, or perhaps some kind of ludicrous bunny hopping script. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But I don't get how posting these guidelines is going to stop people from breaking the rules. When you're up against a spin botter I don't think he's going to suddenly stop and apologise if you send him a link to these guidelines. So I guess these fair play guidelines have been posted, firstly to ensure that there's no excuse for people not knowing this stuff, but also hopefully to set the stage for bigger and more forceful anti-griefing measures in the future. The map selection screen has been simplified. This is how it was before, and here it is now. The Premier competitive feature no longer takes up a separate chunk of the screen, and it's now represented like the rest of the maps are. If you like, you can queue for Premier and individual maps at the same time to cut down on your queue times further. Good idea. And these buttons have been added along the top to reduce the number of clicks it takes to configure the map selection to your liking. You can choose either Premier, Active Duty, Hostage or New, and it'll highlight and deselect them accordingly in an instant. You might expect all of the available maps to be featured in at least one of these options, but no, right now Train and Cash aren't included in any of these. Which is why you can also configure your own list of maps that you'd like to play on, which is where these icons over here come in handy. Then, once you're happy with your map selection, save it using this button, and then you can use this favourites button to recall that selection at any time from now on. For years, it's been common for a match to be confirmed by 9 out of 10 people, but that last elusive player rarely accepts. I've spent more of my life than I'd care to admit thinking about that person, trying to figure out their intentions. Were they simply AFK, or did they accidentally queue for a map that they didn't want to play, which is why they're now refusing to confirm it. Let's hope this time-saving map selection feature will cut down on that occurrence. Lastly, Bullet Penetration Check will ignore the firing player model entirely. Why does this matter? What's going on? Congratulations to Dinosaur Leaf for covering this bug recently. I recommend you check out his video on it. He discovered that if you play as a CT holding an SMG, then your character's model leans forward, causing your face to stick through a wall that's right in front of you. And since we all know that bullets are fired from your face, this messed up the bullet penetration, allowing for bullets to pass straight through a wall that they shouldn't be able to penetrate. I must say, it's nice to see updates again. I've never known a year as quiet as this one for game changes, though I must admit the timing of this one is rather odd, taking place in the middle of one of the biggest CSGO tournaments we've seen in quite some time. Valve, please fix.